Hi. Guys. It's... Mucky Moose! Hey everyone, it's Mucky Moose here. Welcome back to another video where today I'm gonna kind of be doing Hey everyone, it's Mucky Moose here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, where today I'm going to be doing tutorials, so kind of, I'm going to be starting a new kind of tutorial videos and stuff, and um, the first tutorial is going to be a modern house, um, so I've kind of already done the layout, so I'm kind of going to tell you what it is, right, so what you need to do is you start here and you go along 8, and then you go along 8 to 8 again, then here, you come along 20, so as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then you come along 20 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And join it up how many more you need, which I'm guessing you need to start obviously from here. So that is 16 there, and this 20 there, and this is 20 here, as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then you go along carefully and try to match up whereabouts you think that it's going to be. So clearly it would go there. Anyway, let's get into this. So, I always like a bit of detail in my builds. So, first here you come and add in double doors, making sure that you have an equal amount in the middle. So, here we have five, four on each side and one in the middle. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna kinda mark out your midway point, which I think was about here. Do that with a pillar quartz block, um, and you're building the area around with a block of quartz. Then, if you come up three or four, three, four looks better, so we're gonna come along four. And if you do that and join it up with all the corners, just like this. There you go. And join it up with all the corners. I will be back when I've joined it up with every single corner. So you practically do that, but on every single corner. And this is going to be a bit tricky, so I'll come back to this bit when I'm up to it. Okay, guys, so this is how you're going to do it. You're going to join up the corners from these sides. And then you're going to come along and leave the one gap there, which is the three block. Then you're going to come up and, and to the roof and join it up. Then you're going to come up and do it on the side as well. And then come over it with the roof to join that up. And you're going to leave a one block gap space here. So it would look like that up to now. And you're going to come along and place two blocks there. Copy it on the exact same size except this window is going to be a bit bigger. And I will tell you why later. So it's practically the same except we have a two wide bigger here. So it would be like that. And then you would add in the two blocks. So we have most of it done. And I'll be back when I've done the rest. There you go guys. There is your layout. So, what we're going to come along next is we're going to come and we're going to get, I think it's your choice, you can have light blue, cyan or dark blue. I particularly like light blue, so I'm going to go along with light blue. But, or you can completely go with a different colour, but I think the blues look the best, but obviously it is up to you. So, I'll leave that decision all up to you. But then we're going to come along in the windows and fill this all up. Like that, we're gonna fill in every little gap that we have. Along here, and then the two here. There you go. So you copy this around the rest of the sides. And then when you've done that, um, which will take me a while yet, but when you've done that, um, you can come along and you can either do the inside first, or you can do the outside. I'm gonna do the outside first, because clearly I like to see how dark it is and how much lighting I need to put in. So I'm gonna do the windows, and then I'm gonna add in the roof, 
because the roof has a particular design with it which I think looks quite modern quite a modern kind of design a design that kind of looks like really, really kind of good and um, hopefully it is kind of gonna look really really nice but it all depends on how well I can actually build it because I have an idea in my head but I'm actually kind of rolling with the idea now but anyway it's gonna work hopefully and I'm gonna try my best so we're gonna fill in the last window here and then we should be done so we're coming along filling it in there we go so obviously you filled it in like that then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come along with either chiseled block of quartz or block of quartz. I'm gonna go with chiseled block of quartz. I love my chiseled block of quartz. My chiseled block of quartz. And then you're going to add this all on top of your roof. This is gonna be kind of the roof on the top. So I'll be back when I've done the whole of the roof. Okay, so guys, when you've done all of the roof as chiseled quartz block then you can kind of look inside you can see it's a bit dark but we'll do this in the next video because we're kind of just going to do the layout today but anyway today well now you're going to go and get either purple hardened clay or magenta hardened clay i'm going to go for purple and you're going to come out and finish off the square here like that and you're going to go and grab your pillar quartz block and you're going to come up as you can see it kind of adds an effect that the pillar is holding up the purple and then obviously here well to make it look good we're going to come up four again four and this is going to be the color that you use to go round Make sure you do add the bottom on, which is what I've not done, but I'll go and do it. Um, so it's going to be up like that, adding the bottom on. And if I just use that as an example, I'm not going to sure show what, what colour window I'm going to use yet. But that will be kind of what it looks like. And then, of course, we'll add the roof on, and that will be kind of the main layout. So that's kind of going to be it. And what I think would look good is if you get a, obviously a modern mansion would suit more sea lanterns than glowstone. So if you come in the corners and place a bit of sea lanterns there, and if you feel like it, you might want to just add in a little bit more for extra lighting. So you might come up here like that and kind of add it in in bits and places like that and then you can kind of see that central point like that and if you want a bit more detail you might just add that round it like that as you can see the entrance kind of stands out a bit now if you don't like that of course you can go back to just the corners or just nothing and have it just a quartz block like that which is what I actually like a bit more so I'm going to add that back in now and then I'm going to obviously get rid of this because it's not going to suit it so you add it back in if you don't want it there like that so I'll be back when I've done all the hardened clay around the sides okay so guys I have finished it um so obviously here you build up four one so from this block you build up three and then like okay so you should have a two gap window space and then use just the glass pane not colored not like this light blue glass like not like light blue stained glass pane you just want a glass pane to fill in the purple at the top and as you can see it kind of looks quite effective like imagine just walking up to that looks good doesn't it and that looks wonky as well that's gonna bug me a lot ah 
as you can see guys I'm one of them picky people who wants it to be perfect just get back okay guys that looks better so I'm gonna add in that as you can see that them two pillars so you the one pillar that you placed add in the second one just a diagonal to the left of it depending on what side you're on if you're facing just coming out the door to the left if you're facing coming towards it it's to the right but anyway guys you get rid of that next and then you come over to um your what either the quartz slabs or you can either go quartz slabs or you can go quartz blocks but i'm gonna go quartz slabs so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just come along here like that and then the corners are gonna be like maybe possibly like that but if you don't want it it can just be like that so you fill in the roof as everybody likes doing it's the main part of the house finishing it off I might do that off camera but you get what I mean you're gonna come along and make sure that it's one off so it has to be a slab upwards from the purple blocks and a slab out so as you can see if I get rid of this one slab up slab out oh gosh slab up slab out and break that one like that and then you follow it along and do the whole of the roof so guys that is going to be the end of the video that is going to be what we're finishing on if I come over here might look a bit more effective there we go that's what it looks like up to now but I will make it better maybe possibly we might add in up to you again of course but as a bit of decoration you might want to just come around here like this and then go down get some sea lanterns and break down like that Oh gosh, no, nope, break down. Place them there. And then get your ordinary glass block. Like that. It has to be a block, otherwise it won't turn out right. And it kind of lights it up a bit more, and then you could possibly have one down there. Like that. So there you have it guys. That is going to be the end of the tutorial unless you want to do this where you can break that and actually just get a bit of detail in there because clearly it bugs me when something doesn't look right and that seriously isn't going to look right so i'm just going to play that back but you might want to just change the block here so like i might want to come over and just and get the glass block back There you go, and as you can see, it looks kind of a bit nicer now, and I've not added the glass back in over here. There you go, guys. So that is the end of the video. Sorry about me being picky, but that is going to be the end of the video. Do you hope you enjoy. You don't need to have the lighting designing, but I would recommend doing everything that I've just kind of said. Um, it does look quite good. And guys, I will see you in the next video.